Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to another video of Dauntless. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like it a bit more, please do subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. In this video, I will be talking about something called as the cell system. And the cell system in this game Dauntless uh, is a way in which cells are used on armors and on weapons to create a specific type of build for your character to be able to do specific type of damages on a behemoth. Now speaking of damages, there are three types of damages which you should know. Uh, base damage which is in white color numbers and part damage which you'll see in yellow color numbers and wound damage which you might see in reddish brown or in orange numbers when you hit or strike a behemoth. Now coming to the base damage. This type of damage is more specific to the whole HP of the behemoth. When you use any weapon it is always going to have base damage which does damage to the base HP of the behemoth. Now also talking about part damage now part damage is not like base damage which kind of relates to the whole of the behemoth. Part damage is specific to a particular part like tail, head, limbs, etc. You target those and they also have part damage HP which means HP related to that specific part which you can bring down using part damage type of cells. Now similarly even wound damage which I said is denoted by the orangish or reddish brown kind of numbers these wound damages also target specific parts but rather than breaking them they kind of open up cuts and they kind of open up wounds and they kind of make it easier for other players using part damage or really high base damage to target these specific areas as you can see this particular wound opening in a particular behemoth also starts making it glow with a blue light and also you can see the smoke coming out of that part this shows that it's wounded very badly and ready to be broken by the part damage or base damage that someone else has now i'm gonna get to the point where i talk about cell levels and the cell types cell levels are plus one plus three and plus two these are the three levels of cells that you can get and they can only add up to from they can only be added up to plus six which means using plus one plus two and plus three cells you can either add any of the cells up to plus three or plus four or plus five and reach up to plus six each level from one to six is going to have a ascending uh, order of buffs that it will give you if you have placed that number of cells or have an addition which sums up to that particular level of the cell now for example let me take a plus one to plus three insulated which might give you an increased amount of recovery from shock effects insulated cells are defense cells which give protection towards shock but Having a plus 1 to plus 3 will only give you recovery speed from that shock effect. If you have a plus 4 to plus 6 by any chance, you can increase that speed from 75% to 100% which means literally at plus 6, you can have a immunity towards this shock elemental and also be able to get a bonus skill at plus six where you can actually break barriers created by shock type behemoths and it does not hurt you back similarly other elementals also help you give such types of bonuses against bonuses or resistances i mean resistances especially for elemental types now getting to the next one where i'm going to talk about the types of cells the first type is defense which has a shield icon, power cells denoted by fist icon, a closed fist, mobility cell which is denoted by a wing icon, utility cell which is denoted by a triangular design type of an icon and technique cell which is denoted by a sword on a crosshair type of an icon. Now, basically defense cells 
as the name suggests it's going to be having defensive properties it's going to buff up your defense in one way or the other some defense cells have uh, properties where they give you shields extra shields or uh, you might have to do some particular uh, prerequisite requirements where you have to meet certain conditions and then you get the extra shields or you can also get some defense cells that would give you health back on meeting certain requirements example there's a cell i may not name it it gives you health back if you stagger a behemoth once you stagger a behemoth a set number of hp is restored onto your hp bar now coming to the other cell which is power cells these cells like the name suggests they are mainly buffs or increase in your damage depending on percentage that's right depending on the amount of damage you can deal to the behemoth a certain amount of percentage buff is also added along with it if you have a plus six power cell now going to the next one is a mobility cell the mobility cells as the name suggests definitely related to movement or stamina or anything related to attack speed or agility etc etc now for example i can give you a conditioning cell which is a mobility cell which at plus six total will give you a plus 30 stamina region which is really fast stamina regeneration skill from this particular cell now i'm going to the next one which is the utility cell which is pretty much the miscellaneous part of the cells where it's nothing related to defense offense or anything but kind of helps with all these other cells that you may have on your build for example energize cell it's a utility cell it's required to increase the weapon meter gain when you are hitting a behemoth with a particular weapon some weapons have a weapon meter charge where you need to charge up the weapon meter in order to use a special attack energized cell comes in handy where it increases the rate at which you get energy or meter gain per hit this kind of helps that particular ability or the condition where you can use a special attack another example is the medic cell which probably everyone knows the medic cell kind of gives you like a fast ability to revive your allies and also if you have a plus five or plus six you end up re uh, reviving your allies with a 66 percent speed and also be able to get extra shields after reviving them now going to the technique cells uh, these are the offensive and more specific and precise type of cells that require uh, a cell build where fast hitting weapons like swords or chain blades or war pikes or even repeaters kind of use these technique cells in a good way where you get a lot of part damage per hit before it was part damage percentage here it is per hit which means for example blade storm which is a part damage technique cell it can give you at plus six total can give you 40 part damage per hit and as a bonus it will give you on dodging through an attack of a behemoth you get 400 part damage on the next hit after the dodge through an attack and those were the five types of cells you need to know about in the game defense power cells utility mobility and technique depending on what type of a build you're going for you can always use different armor parts different weapons and check the slots that they have and icons that they have so that they match the cell that you are going to or want to use that way you'll be able to select which particular armor or weapon you need to use in order to make your particular build and after all this you want to know how to get cells right it's easy very simple you get cells from reward systems in the game such as you can get cells from cores cores are rewards from quests 
and particular hunt pass related events and any other event that the game developers uh, intend to give us in the future it will bring us opportunities to get cores cores are going to be silver uh, bronze or even gold and they have a higher ch gold has the higher chance of giving us a plus three cell which is an epic the others might have a chance of giving plus one and plus two cells which you'll need to add up on your own now coming to another way of getting cells is uh, from the middlemen there's the character or NPC in the game in the town on the left side next to Catherine that's also an NPC now this middleman is a guy who looks like he is wearing a robot suit or something and this guy is every week is going to bring three cells one epic and two rare cells one is going to be a purple which is a plus three and two blue cells which are going to be plus two and plus two now if you have platinum you can buy it from this guy every week he brings another cycle or another batch of cells you can buy it if you have platinum or you could always use aether dust aether dust you can get from selling your own cells from the inventory if you have unwanted useless cells that you don't use you can sell it off for aether dust aether dust is a currency which can be used as an alternate to the platinum in the game only in this particular case where you can buy the cells that the middleman has now to make your own particular plus three cell you should always make sure you have two cells of the same type so that you'll be able to make the next higher level if you don't have a plus two of the version search for the plus one of the version of cell you want to make and make the plus twos first and then go for the plus three it's going to take time because these things these fusion systems take time if you're using plus one cells of the same type to make a plus two cell of the same type you will take 24 hours to make it similarly if you use plus two cells of the same type to be able to make a plus three cell later it's going to take 72 hours to make it of course you can use ace chips to rush through this or you could just wait it out and uh, after three days you'll be able to get your plus three cell which i usually do i don't waste the platinum of course i keep it for the hunt pass elite packs that's it and that's how you make your uh, cells and this whole video was about how to get cells and how to make your own plus three cells and also basic information about what new players need to know about this cell system in the game hopefully this video was helpful and hopefully you guys understood what you need to do in order to get your own plus three cells and hopefully you guys understood the basic information as to how you need to use different types of cell on different types of weapons and armor anyways that's about it for this video and as always keep smiling and thank you for watching and sayonara, ta-ta, I'll see you, bye-bye.